Welcome to Beyond Live, everyone. It's Lou at the zoo, one of my favorite places in Des Moines to spend some time. But here's what we're going to do is we're going to peel back the curtain here a little bit. We're going to learn behind the scenes of what's going on at the Blank Park Zoo and introduce you to some of the zookeepers and some of the other people that work here. So you have a little idea of what is going on here. We have Travis Wickersham yep. joining us here this morning. And uh, Travis, you have one of the most enviable jobs here at the Blank Park Zoo. Tell everybody what your job is. Yep, it's a great job. I get to work uh, here with the seals and sea lions every day. Um, we get to do a lot of training, um, and it's a really rewarding part of the job. Now, a lot of kids might be watching this right now, and they're saying, a zookeeper, that's what I want to be when I grow up. Let's take a, them back through your history a little bit. First of all, where did you grow up? Uh, so I grew up in western Nebraska, okay. just in a very small town. Um, and I always kind of knew that I wanted to be a zookeeper. Um, so everyone's path is just a little bit different. I ended up going to college in Colorado Springs and they have a zookeeping program there, uh, which I attended, um, led to internships at the zoo there and eventually into full-time jobs uh, and eventually came to work here at Blank Park. Wow, and when you came to Blank Park, uh, you were assigned to be with the seals and sea lions. Yep. Uh, what, what was that like when you found out you were gonna be working with probably some of the most popular animals at the zoo. Uh, yeah, it was pretty exciting. It wasn't necessarily something um, I thought I would ever be able to do. So to get that opportunity was, um, was great and um, very excited and happy to get to be a part of uh, the program here at Boing Park. All right, now it's more than just coming in and playing with the seals and sea <laughs> lions. You have a long day. Yep. When you get here, get, run everybody through what a typical day is for Travis. Yep, so generally we come in first thing, we check on all of our animals, make sure they're all uh, happy and healthy, um, start by preparing all their diets so we can feed them. But most of our day really is cleaning. So <laughs> going out and <laughs> hosing, shoveling, all the fun stuff. All right, and so then keep training. that in mind too. There's more than just uh, playing with the animals <laughs> as some people call it. But let's talk yeah. about preparing the food because you don't just, you can't just get like food for seals and sea lions. You have to make sure that their nutritional needs are met and every animal is different. Tell everybody what you do. Yep, so for these guys, um, they're obviously they eat fish. All their fish um, comes frozen, so it's wild caught fish. Um, we, we bring it in, it comes in in big frozen slabs. Um, we have to thaw that out, weigh it out every day. Every animal gets a specific amount. Um, we check for the quality of every fish to make sure that there isn't anything wrong with it um, since it is wild caught. Um, and then one of the biggest things is we have to supplement those fish with vitamins because in the freezing process, it loses some of its nutrition. So we make, want to make sure they're all getting the proper diet that they need. So all the fish and all the things that you prepare, all the, the meals you prepare for the seals and sea lions, each one is specialized for that particular animal, right? Yep, it's based on the weight of the animal. Um, and so we change the diet based on kind of what that animal needs. Okay, awesome. And then yeah. you have a chance to work with the animals and some of the behaviors that you might see when you come out here to the Blank Park Zoo. They're not just fun behaviors that the animals do. There's a purpose for the behaviors, right? Yep, yep. We all enjoy the big fun, fun behaviors, um, but we focus a lot of our behaviors on um, what we call husbandry. So that might be anything from looking inside their mouth, um, looking at their flippers, uh, ultrasounds, x-rays, um, a lot of eye care for these guys. So most everything that we train um, is based around a medical need for them. Okay, can we, can we see uh, you know, what you're yep. talking about so people can see firsthand how the medical needs and the other needs are fulfilled by some of the things you might see here on a regular basis. Can we see that? Who are we gonna bring out? Uh, we're gonna bring out Addie. It's one of our California sea lions. All right, we'll so. go check out Addie. Come okay. on down, Addie. All right, Travis Wickersham, tell us about your buddy that you brought out here. <laughs> um, this is Addie. Uh, Addie is an eight-year-old uh, female California sea lion. She is one of three that live here at the zoo, um, along with our three harbor seals. Right, now for those people that might not know how the Blank Park Zoo acquires some of their seals and sea lions, tell everybody the story behind it because this is really cool. Yep, so um, actually all of our uh, seals and sea lions here, with the exception of one, are all rescue uh, animals, so they could not be re-released um, for whatever reason. They all came from rehab facilities in California and Canada, um, and so they came here to live at Blank Park. 
um, since they couldn't be released. All right, so yep. you're caring for them since yep. it's unsafe for them to go back out yep. into the wild. Now, you notice and that Annie? Annie was a little distracted by some of the noises that are uh, here, but you got her attention really quick, and, and she yep. touched your hand, and that's really yep. important that you teach them how to do that, isn't it? Yep, so this is what we call a target. We can either do it with our hand like that, or um, one of the first behaviors we teach them is uh, with a target pole like this. And actually, she'll follow that anywhere. Addie. So she's trained to, teach her, or to touch her nose to the end of that target. Um, and then if we want to shape a behavior, uh, we will move that target kind of where we want the animal to move. So this is called a stretch behavior. She'll move her head all the way to her back like that. And that's a natural position right And that's right a there. natural position. Okay. Um, we can fade out that target, and then we can just ask the behavior. Oh, wow. Yep. Now, you notice that when uh, after a behavior is done, you hear a clicking sound. Explain what the clicking sound yep. is, Travis. So this is the bridge, um, and we just use um, a dog clicker. Show the camera there so everybody yep. can see it at home. Say, yep, okay. so this looks like that. It just makes a little clicking noise. And that just lets the animal know that they did the behavior correctly and they're gonna get a reward. Right. So every time we ask a behavior, we'll bridge <laughs> it and then we'll reward it. So you bridge between the behavior and then it's positive and then you get the reward. So yep. that's what the bridge is that's all about. It. Now, what other kind of things do you teach the animals and other kind of uh, things that the animals do that benefit them medically? Um, so we can do a lot of different husbandry behaviors. Uh, look at their flippers. Ah. Do that on either side. Uh, we can have them open their mouth. So you can see their teeth. See inside their mouth, see their teeth. Um, and we also, I don't have an eye drop with me, but we give them um, several eye drops um, every day. Um, and we're able to look at their eyes. Okay. Um, Addie, come. Good. Good, Addie down. And she'll present her belly for us. Um, we're able to kind of look at all of the underside. <laughs> And so, yep, that's just one of the ways that we can get a X-ray and ultrasound performed. That is awesome. Good job, Eddie. Now we've seen them wave in the past. Yep. Can, can she do that too? Good, Eddie, wave. There's the just wave. Like that. <laughs> yep. And she can also do kind of a fun one. She can. We call it talk. Eddie, talk. <laughs> Good. Oh, that is so <laughs> neat how yep. she just, she is so, so locked into yep. you. Would you think she'll do that for me or not? We can try it and see. I bet she will. Addie, <laughs> Addie, and she knows her name, right? Yep. Addie, can you wave? Can you wave? Good girl. Okay, I'm going to give you a fish. Hang on. <laughs> Uncle Lou has big fish for you, okay? <laughs> there you go. And now, how do you make her speak? Or uh, talk? Just like this. Can you speak? <laughs> Oh, Eddie, I like you too. I like you too. I'm going to give you a real big one for that one. Here you go. All right, good girl. That is so neat. It's amazing how she's locked in. Eddie. You can see the flies Eddie. are around here. That's what she's jumping for. Yep. But she's locked into what you're yep, doing. Exactly. It's, you guys did an incredible job here with yep. these animals, caring for them. Again, these animals are brought to the Blank Park Zoo because they cannot be released okay. in the wild. Eddie. So that's just another layer of different things that are going on. Yep. at the Blank Park Zoo. Yes. Travis and Eddie, thank you so much for visiting with yes, us. Yes, thank you. See, now you know a little bit more of some of the things that go on here at the Blank Park Zoo. Here, Eddie, want another one? Eddie, Eddie, you want another fish? Eddie, there you go. <laughs>